Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. Today I am here with an American League matchup for you of the 1968 Baltimore Orioles, who had a record of 91 and 71, going up against the 1991 world champion Minnesota Twins, who had a record of 95 and 67. And it dawned on me as I put out, as I went to get my markers for this game, the base markers, that I didn't have any Twins markers, which means I haven't done a card and dice Twins game ever. Well, not ever, but, well, maybe not ever. But certainly not in a very, very long time. So I'm glad that I discovered that so that we can get the Twins in this game. And the pitching matchup for today out on the mound taking his warm-up tosses is Scott Erickson of the 1991 Twins, who was 20-8 and with a 318 earned run average. And he'll be going up against Dave McNally of the Baltimore Orioles, who was 22-10 and with a 195 earned run average. So it's going to be tough scoring off of McNally today, even, you would think, for the world champion Twins. So... Without further delay, let's get on with this. Paul Blair is done taking his uh, practice swings, and he will face Scott Erickson. And that's a 5-4, which is a catcher card X, and Harper is the catcher today. That would be um, Brian Harper, and he is a 4, as I suspected. And that is a 13 and a 4 at catcher, which is pass ball followed by foul out. So it's one away. Don Buford up. He gets a 210, which is a single. So Buford is aboard. And that's a hit for Baltimore. Hopefully I won't mess up the scoreboard again. It's a very touchy scoreboard. If you touch in the wrong place, you get the wrong result. Frank Robinson up, one on and one out, and he gets a walk. 311 is a walk for Frankie. Big Frank Robinson getting a walk. And two on. Erickson already in a little bit of trouble here. Boo Powell is up, and he gets a 6-9, which is a single, and... Are they going to send the runner? The runner is Buford. He's a 1-16. to They are going to send him. And he does make it. So, that was a single double asterisk. And it's also a run. Baltimore is on the board. Brooks Robinson gets a home run 1-15 to or a triple. This is going to be a lot of runs here. And it is... A home run for Brooksy. He knocks in three runs right there. Another hit for Baltimore. And they have a 4 nothing lead just like that on Erickson. And Kurt Bluffery is up. He gets a 6-8. That is a single one to 16. Erickson having a terrible time. But that's actually a line out to shortstop. Two away. And Davey Johnson is up. And he gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball to left. So mercifully for Erickson, the inning ends. But not before the uh, Baltimore Orioles of 1968 score four runs on him. Up steps Chuck Knobloch. And he gets a 1-5, which is a ground ball to short. One away. Shane Mack comes up. He gets a 6-4, which is a pop-out to first base, two away. And Kirby Union Gap Puckett gets a ground ball to the shortstop. So the Twins go rather quickly and harmlessly in the first. And now we go to the top of the second. L. Rod Hendricks, the catcher, is up. And he gets a ground ball to first base, one out. Mark Belanger gets a 1 9. That's a strikeout. Two away. Belanger, not a very good hitter. Only hit 208 in 1968 and famous for not being a very good hitter. But a great shortstop defensively. 5 5 is a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 1. That's Greg Gagney. And that's going to be an out, I believe. 
one and one at shortstop is an out. So no runs come across for the Twins there, thankfully for the O or for the uh, or no runs come across for the Orioles there, thankfully for the Twins. And now they send up Kent Herbeck against McNally. He gets a 2-11, which is a pop out to second, one away. Chili Davis. Chili Davis gets a 4-2 ground ball to the pitcher. McNally throws over to Boog Powell, and that is the second out, and up steps Brian Harper. He gets a 6-10. That is a line out to third base, and McNally shuts them down again in the second, and we go to the top of the third with Don Buford up. He gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball to shortstop. Erickson has seemed to have settled down here, but of course, it's a little too late after you give up four runs in the first. Frank Robinson gets a 3-3, which is a walk. So Frank Robinson's aboard with one out, and Boog Powell up, and he gets a 3-8, which is a single one to 16. And that is going to be a single. So that is the Orioles, fourth hit of the game, two men on, one out, Brooks C. Robinson up, 2-9 as a ground ball, shortstop, double play, and the Twins get out of the inning. But we go to the bottom of the second and they need four runs, badly. Mike Pagliarulo. Gets a line out to second, one away. No hit so far for the Twins. Dan Gladden gets a 5-4, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. That is Belanger, and he is a 2. And that's a 19. That might be something. It is a one-base error. Belanger makes an, an error. So the Orioles do have... An error to add to their list. And uh, Ga Gagne comes up. He gets a 5-9. That's a ground ball to shortstop again. He'll be tested again. And this time it's a 14 roll. That's probably a double play. And it is. A double play. And the Twins are out of the inning. And we go to the top of the fourth. At a 4 nothing game, 4 nothing lead for the Baltimore Orioles, who have Bluffery stepping in against Erickson, who, like I said, has calmed down, strike out, but he's calmed down since the first, and in the first he gave up four. So 4-5 four, is a line out to second base, two away, and Elrod Hendricks gives up a five, gets a 5-3. That's a ground ball back to the pitcher. He is considered to be a two defensively. And that will be an out. So, no runs for the Orioles in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth of a 4 nothing game. Orioles with a lead in Knobloch up at the plate. Gets a 6-5, which is a home run 1-16 or a triple. And that is a home run. Chuck Knobloch gets the first hit. And the first hit also puts the Twins on the board. Shane Mack is up. He gets a 3-4, which is a home run. Back-to-back -back home runs by the Twins have put them right back in this game. It is now 4-2, and Kirby Puckett is up. 6-9 is a strikeout. One away. Kent Herbeck gets a 3-6, which is a walk. So Herbeck aboard. One down, Chili Davis up, 310 is a fly ball to left, that's two away. And Brian Harper is up and he gets a 4-6, which is a pop out to shortstop. But the Twins get on the board and now we go to the top of the fifth in a 4-2 game. Mark Belanger up, he gets a 1-8, which is a strikeout, one away. Paul Blair gets a 2-9, which is a fly ball to center, two away. And Don Buford's up, and he gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball to left. And Erickson has settled in nicely. Now he's just got to hope that his mates can get him two more runs as we go to the bottom of the fifth. 
Mike Pagliarulo gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball shortstop. One away. Dan Gladden gets a 3-4, which is a pop-out to third base. Two away. And Greg Gagne gets a 4-5, and that is a fly ball to left field. No runs come in for the Minnesota Twins. We go to the top of the sixth of a 4-2 game. Close one. Frank Robinson is up. That's a 4-8, which is a double one or a single. That's going to be a single. And the Orioles' fifth hit of the game. Boob Powell is up. He gets a 2-10, which is a double. And let's see if they're going to send Frankie. He's a 1-13. to They will not do that. But it is the sixth hit for Baltimore. Now the Twins will bring the infield in. Brooks Robinson up. He gets a 1-4, which is a ground ball, third base A. Two away, and I believe... Let's see what happens on that. Infield in, ground ball A. The batter is out. Runner on third holds. Other runners advance one base, but the other runner couldn't advance one base, so it's the same situation with one down. Infield still in for Bleffery. And he gets a pop out to second, and now the infield will go back for the Twins with Dave Johnson up, and he walks to load him up. So the bases are full. Elrod Hendricks is up. He gets a 4-8, and that's a double one, single double asterisk. And that's going to be a single double asterisk that knocks in two runs. Could be the backbreaker right there. That's another hit for Baltimore. And two more runs, and it's a 6-2 lead for Baltimore now with Belanger up, and he gets a 4-11, which is a walk and loads the bases again. And up steps Paul Blair. He gets a 6-6, which is a fly ball center field. And that is the end of the inning, but not before Baltimore picks up two more of their own to open up the four-run lead that they initially had after the first inning. Chuck Knobloch is up. He gets a 5-7, which is a double 1-7 to seven or a fly ball. And it is a fly ball to the center fielder. One away, Shane Mack up. He gets a 4-6. That's a pop out to short. And Kirby Union get Puckett gets a single. So he's aboard with a hit. Only the third hit for the Twins. And Herbeck up, and he gets a 3-2, which is a fly ball to left field. Or right field. Sorry, fly ball right. And they're going to replace Erickson here as we go to the top of the seventh. And the new pitcher will be Rick Aguilera, who will be facing... Don Buford. And that's a 5-3, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 1. That's Greg Gagne. That's an out. One away. Frank Robinson gets a 3-6, which is a double. Just a plain, everyday, gotcha double. Runner at second. One out. Boob Powell up. 6-10 is a catcher card. He is a 4. That's Brian Harper. That's a six and a four. You gotta think something's gonna happen on that. Out on Dribbler? No, nothing really. I mean, the runner does advance though. But there's two down. And Brooks Robinson up. And he gets a four nine, which is a walk. So we have runners at the corners. And Kurt Bleffery up. And he gets a 3-8, which is a pop-out to first. So the Orioles come away with no runs in the seventh. Aguilera holds them. And we go to the bottom of the seventh, where the Twins are sorely in need of some base runners and hits and runs. Chili Davis up. He gets a 2-9. That is a home run. Chili Davis. Gone. And so now they've cut the lead a little bit. And now it's 6-3. 
Brian Harper is up. This is an explosive Twins offense. Fly ball to center field. One away. Pagliarulo gets a 5-8. That is a fly ball to center field. Two away. And Dan Gladden gets a 2-9, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. So they only got the one run. We go to the top of the eight. And in the top of the eighth, you've got Davey Johnson coming up for the Orioles, facing Aguilera in his second inning of work. 6-5 is a strikeout, one away. And by the way, in 1991, Rick Aguilera was 4-5 and five with um, a 235 earned run average in 69 innings. Elrod Hendricks comes up. He gets a 5-7. That's a ground ball to second. The second baseman is Knobloch, and he's a 2, and that's an out. Two away. And Mark Belanger comes up, and he gets a 6-12, which is a ground ball, second base C. So, no runs come in for Minnesota, and we go to the top of the ninth. The Orioles leading 6-3. They have a three-run lead here in the top of the ninth. Greg Gagne up. He gets a 3-4, which is a pop-out to short. One away. Or wait a minute. No, sorry. Wrong team. The, twi the Orioles are up, and it's Paul Blair. And he gets a 6-12, which is a ground ball second base. C, one away. Don Buford gets a 1-7, which is a walk. Frank Robinson gets a 5-6, which is a strikeout, two away. And Boob Powell gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball, first base A. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Bottom of the ninth, Greg Gagne up. And that's going to be a ground ball shortstop, one away. Chuck Knobloch comes up. He gets a 5-11. That's a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a 2 fielding. Or no, he's a, actually, no, he's a 5. He's a 5 fielding. 19 and 5 is a 2 base error. McNally makes a 2 base error. Shane Mack is up. He gets a 3-7, which is a triple 1-2 or a double. And that is going to be a double and knock and a run. It is now 6-4. And Kirby Union Gap Puckett gets a 3-2, which is a line out into a double play and ends the game. And I'm not sure if I made a mistake there. I might have skipped ahead a half an inning. But uh, anyway, that's your final result. Even with mistakes that are human error related. And you've got a 6 4 final, the 1968 Baltimore Orioles defeating the 1991 Minnesota Twins, who made a game of it uh, when it looked like it could have been a blowout after one inning. But final score 6 4, Baltimore.